Oh, you're here already. Hello? Hello? Um, I got a box. Because I talked to Graphtech. Uh, hey, Alex. Hey, Justin. Uh, hey, Dave. And I told Jeff, uh, I told <laughs> Jeff Tech. No, Graph Tech. That's what they're called. Um, look, I have guitars here sometimes, whether it'll be a cheaper Fender or Harley Benton's. And yeah, they're good out of the box for the money, but they could be phenomenal guitars if I just had the chance to slap on some parts and show you where they can go. Um, these tuners with the little plasticky nipples, they're fine. You know, this is some kind of no namey China vintagey Clusen style they call it, and they're not bad considering the guitar's two hundred thirty three bucks. But for me, it's always worth putting good stuff on there. And I told them, well, if I had some Graph Tech stuff here, I'd always have a box that I can dive into to mod some guitars and show you how that's done. I drive over to Yoshi and actually do a serious mod with a uh, uh, new nut Graph Tech XL Tusk XL whatever. Um, and this bridge just isn't, I mean, it does the job, I guess, but how much gooder could this guitar be, which is also pretty damn goodly, if we had an amazing bridge. Um, this thing is ugly as fuck. I mean, look at this. It's just, I don't know, it's not sexy. I don't, I don't, I, I, it, it's kind of crooked. I can't describe it. Um, it's just, I think this guitar tonally, except for the p fact that it's got this ugly piece of wood up here because it's a three or four piece body, um, could be pretty damn awesome because it sounds good and I'm a little bit afraid to do it because it already sounds The way that I would want it, but we might possibly get some Klopman P90s Which I think are possibly twice the price of the guitar itself. I know it's stupid to do, but you know what? That guy likes it So that's why Graftex in the box and for all your Harley Bentonites out there and you modernites um, you have a lot of things on your radar. You have Hipshot on your radar, and Hipshot does some good modern tuners. Don't get me wrong, good stuff. Um, you have Goto on your radar, good stuff. I don't see enough of the Graph Tech on guitars. Um, I know they're not the cheapest out there, especially the tuners, the ratio locking. I know they clock in at probably more than the others, but the ratio thing is awesome because they made it so that each tuner has exactly the same dynamic when you tune, meaning every turn, every full turn is, I think, a half step, which means every string will, will feel exactly the same. And you do notice it. You really do notice that you have that precision. And then, of course, locking. You get, also get them non-locking, but come on, get them in locking because we have the technology. Why not do it? And is it about string... Uh, is it about tuning stability? It's a little bit. Primarily, it's about string change speed. So you can change your strings quite a bit faster when you have locking tuners. This, you can install and put your guitar on, and then it's safer when... Uh, so, they sent me a goodie bag, I ordered some things. Um, and just to let you know how things are happening here with this project, I need the stuff, so... I'm getting this stuff from GraphTech free of charge, but I feature it in videos, okay? So I'm getting compensated for my work with GraphTech parts. Is it amazing compensation? Wait. I can't eat that damn thing. I don't even know what that is. No, I can't. But cool videos will happen, and they help me. So, uh, Bridges of Madison. Mm. So they sent me this, which is interesting. Um... Don't know what to do with it because I don't have an arch top. But look at this, Graphic now has an arch top bridge. That's kind of probably all oh, with tusk material. And it's sexy. I don't know how you install it, probably just because of the pressure. Look at this pretty height adjustable arch top bridge with tusk material. That's the new thing. And uh, we might find a guitar where we can use that. For now, uh, we don't. Also nice packaging, I like that. Um, and then there's another arch top thing. I, I don't know what that's for, I literally have no idea. But they sent it, because they're nice people. And then, if you're not a luthier and you go into the website and you're trying to buy a tusk nut, oh, there's radii and 
with the zzzs and string spacing zzzs and thickness zzzs. I don't know what I ordered. Uh, I got a slotted quarter inch nut 43 by 6 and I got a tusk nut 42 flat bottom strat. Strat sounded good. Flat bottom. Flat bottom girls and from money girl. It's a song. Um, so I have a whole bunch of nuts now. Well, you know, we start with two nuts and when you go advanced, you add a third nut and then at some point you're in the loony bin. Get it? Because everyone's nuts. Wow. Leslie, do I get a chuckle? No. No? Okay. Um, more string trees. I've used these in my Fender uh, Player Series videos and I see people actually buying the Fender Player Series and getting Tusk XL string trees for 10 bucks. I think they look good, they're super easy to install. It's 10 bucks well spent for Graphitech string trees. Seriously, watch my Fender Player Series videos. It makes sense and looks actually cooler. Um, so we have them in white or cream and in black. And then there's a permanently lubricated nut, Gibson style. Gibson style. We don't put it on an actual Gibson because we don't play that shit. They can keep their guitars and fuck off. See, what else do we have? Here we go, to, we get to the bridges. Yeah, that looks so much sexier. Again, that bridge is half the money of the guitar. Does it make sense to do that? I think it does, because if the basis of the guitar is awesome, you could get different or better attack, different or better sustain. Um, uh, with the tuners, you get more tuning stability. If you like the guitar, and I do, and I like the playability and the tone, make it a better guitar. So I also love the uh, uh, the uh, look of this, which is like a, a dark or black nickel, I think. So that's the Razor Max wraparound bridge. And look how cool. I don't know which one we're going to install. I'm going to let Yoshi the Luthier decide that. But I like the one that's not super adjustable. If the guitar allows for that, intonation-wise. if uh, You kind of have to have a very good guitar, I think, to not adjust the intonation. But you could go and get this Razor Max wraparound bridge with intonation adjusting and then you have their Tusk XL material as the saddles. Which is a material that I guess is good. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a plasticky elephant thing. It's, it's made out of plastic elephants. I don't know. What do I know? Um, and then I've got the Razor Max. Where's the difference? NW2? I might have two of these. And they sent them all in that dark. Nico, which is fine, because I kind of like that. So I think I've got the same one twice. And then uh, performance saddles. I already have a couple of these downstairs for another project we're doing. Thank you, GraphTech. Uh, that's a classic Strat or Tele set. And when you really see where the string really sits in the saddle, it's again tusk material. From plastic elephants from the future. See right there, that little slit? That's a tusk material, which apparently is good for resonance. Um, and here, they sent a single tuner. Dolphin safe tuner. I know, I know I say this every time, and it's funny every time. So here we have uh, multi-geared tuning technology. These are, what are these? Uh, three by threes. And I got them with the mini heads. Uh, because I, I I like it more subtle. So I'll probably put them on my Quenzel, which we're also going to do a um, an upgrade thing on. I have, I, I'll show you, I have the shutters on there. So this will get uh, Klopman pickups. And back then we went uh, with the shutter because we could exchange the heads and we wanted like the wooden uh, maple with everything maple, you know, maple, maple, maple. That was the idea. The problem is, they're literally the worst tuners I've ever had on a guitar. They were not cheap. They're cool because they got these riffly locking from the top. So if you look at it, they're kind of cool tuners because you lock them kind of like PRS style from the top, nice and grippy. But that's a 6,000 euro guitar. And there's so much give here that right now, right there, there's nothing happening. That's crap. So um, I think I'd rather have the GraphTex on there. I probably can't exchange the heads. 
I assume that doesn't work. Maybe we can, I don't know. But if we cannot, then it's gonna have nickel heads. At least the damn thing is tunable. Yeah, I'd rather have this thing work than look cool. So that's what we're gonna do. That's also gonna be a cool project. And for that, we have the 3x3s. And then we have another set of 3x3 for the Harley Benton. And I think that's gonna look good with the little heads. Is it gonna look as classic-y? No, but I don't care. And then we got uh, six in line, staggered. And I like the idea of staggered. E string is higher and then it goes down, which means you don't need that much string triage. So I got two sets of the staggered ones and they're gonna go into storage, like most of this stuff. Actually, the, the three by threes are already, already planned. Scraftrick sent more. They're already going on guitars, damn it! Send more! Craft trick! Um, but at least I'll have six by sixes. Uh, no, six, six and nine. And uh, some stuff and some bridges of Madison County. Hmm. Uh, is it funny yet, Leslie? No. No? Okay, thank you. Um, I have that. If I need to do anything on an upgrade project, bam, it's there. Uh, I want to check some Harley Benton or whatever and put better saddles on there, bam, I can go into my GraphTech drawer, pull it out. Thank you so much, GraphTech. Uh, we will show the people out there that you guys rule. We will make some great guitars, even greater. -er. Make guitars great again? I don't know. It's a thing, it's something I heard somewhere. And um, I'm gonna put links to whatever I can find below. Uh, let's see, uh, Toman Sweetwater, that's what I use. I do get money from that, thank you. I did not get paid for this video, thank you. And yeah, also the thing about uh, the meows and the meow at the end, you know?